sin actually we need to understand when you talk about this one, you know, his claim to be one with the Father, that's a mystical claim. And that leads to his mission of intimacy in this one. The claim to be one with Father is the 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 this one. Thank you, sir. Thank you, you know. See it leads to his understanding of this to his mission of intimacy. He reveals what God is. But he reveals much more what human being. That means the authentic human being should be. So that is actually something which we have to understand. See, he is human as well as God. And then what is exactly what exactly happens to God? What exactly happens, you know? See that human experience and the divine experience. He revealed God. What is God? He knows. But at the same time, and the fullest human being, or what is what what a human being, human being, what should be a human being should be like. That is what he said. That is you know. So he claimed to be one with Father, and then this is what I said. He saw life much more than the physical and biological, and that is why he was courageous enough to embrace that rather than. Uh, compromise with food, that is it. So, universe, we we'll talk about the universe is about yeah. All four, all, all four gospels talk about Jesus' universalistic outlook. Not particularistic, but universalistic outlook. All the gospels talk about. See, see, all the gospels picture Jesus as somebody who has come from the whole universe. It's not for the Jews alone, not for Israel alone, but all gospels, all the four gospels. Talk about Jesus as somebody who has come for the whole universe, whole world. That's what you will see. See, that is, you know, it is to say that Matthew begins with gospel by giving as the genealogy of Jesus, which describes the human origin of Jesus. True. And then, see, the birth of Jesus as the promise, fulfillment of the promise. How to say it? Yeah. But then, you know, in that, all the genealogy of Jesus is there. And it is the fulfillment of Abraham's promise, it's all there. But you need to understand, in the genealogy, there comes a Rahab. In the genealogy, there comes a Rahab. And there comes a Ruth. In the mm. genealogy. Yeah. So, it is, it, it is a fulfillment. Matthew says it's a fulfillment of the God's promise. Yeah. But then, it's not simply the fulfillment of promise, and it is a universal. Right. Because in the genealogy, Abraham is genealogy, but there is a Rahab, there is a Ruth in the genealogy. Is uh, see these two are the non-Jewish people. They also can be part of the promise of the fulfillment uh, of the promise. Non-Jewish, Canaanite women, and interestingly, they are the only two women in the world. That is again. They are the only two women included in the genealogy. Other are all what? Men. Men. And see, they get they got very prominent place in the genealogy as women. And I will say this. You understand? Others are all men. Why did they uh, they could have put the, their husbands in the genealogy? As the men. As the men, they could have Put the as though as the Israel train I um, mean uh, uh, in uh, tradition mm -hmm. they should have put the uh, men's their husband's <coughs> name instead of Ruth they should have put Boaz isn't it yeah huh? and uh, Rahab they should have put somebody, somebody else name. yeah their husband's name but what happened these names their husband's names are left out and these women these two women and two outsiders were put it is to Consciously including the outsiders within the genealogy or within the frame. The conscious attempt to include the outsiders. That is, that is yeah. That is, yeah. Jesus represents that non Jewish people can also be part of the scheme of God's plan. Then what? Even as well as a non Jewish also can become a part of the God's plan. That is what plan. His public ministry. He chose to be that. Choose to be the tax collector. Mark Kunder. And the river Simon. Simon the Seller. Mark 6 to 3. 
And his disciples along with others, along with them, he even had women as his close friends for, for always. After a case, he said that women, all the women, get married. So, all were given place within the back of the individual. The disciples were there, even the women and outsiders, tax collector, in the party was a tax collector. Mm-hmm. And morning we had Sakai's, yeah. was a tax collector. The law was very short, but it was very easy. I mean, the idea, I mean, dynamic law. You know, catching everybody and taking the money, you know. <laughs> <laughs> So, Short people are very dangerous. Uh, <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> very dangerous. Yeah. So, very dynamic, very, very short, but very dynamic. <laughs> so, we need to be understood that. Very aggressive. Like. Can you want to say somebody's name? Even Goliath was so dynamic, but he was short also. No, no, he was not dynamic. Short guy defeated him. Short guy <laughs> defeated him. Small guy defeated him. He was not dynamic. So, short guy was dynamic. Yeah, so short guy is here. We have many, sir. Oh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who is pointing us. Yeah, I is. David, short guy, defeated Goliath. <laughs> right. So, if you say that, it is Luke chapter 8 and not he sees the women also in the back. So, see, it is uh, the greatest difficulty, you know, uh, his experience during his public life, public ministry was for the religious leaders. What the religious leaders were creating issues for them. Why? Because they could not have this kind of followers. Mm-hmm. See, he, they were very righteous according to them. They could not get along with the tax politics. They could not, uh, get, they could not get along with the sinners. They could not get along with women. Huh? It's very different. Very different. So, then it is, you know, it is said that, you see, that God was basically not abounding in uh, in compassion, but it's compassionate God. He was actually showing that God is compassionate to everybody. But the Jews, religious leaders, for them, God is a Jewish God. God is a Jew. God is a Jew. And they cannot accept this Jew or God, Jewish God, to get along with others. Then how can this man go with others? The problem with that. So, basic problem with Jews were, or the leaders were, he is for that. There were people coming, and uh, these people, they were not having that people. So, sometimes you have to understand, you know, see, the follow is, when you have more follow is, you will be done. Because somebody else will be there, who is not have, does not have follow is, they will be done. Jealous. Huh? Will be jealous. Yes. Yes. So Jesus had big trouble from the religious leaders. They were jealous. That is. And they could never accept that God wants all to be part of God's plan. Jews could not accept it. Because God is a Jew for them. How can they accept? See, God is already I mean within the boundaries of the confine. This is a story with all of you. All of us, all of you and me. You know, we have a God. We created a God within ourselves. We all have created our own gods within ourselves. And that is the God. That God sanctions and approves everything what we do. But that God doesn't permit my neighbor to do something. Mm-hmm. Whenever the neighbor does something wrong, immediately, my God says, No, it is wrong. But whatever the wrong I do, there is no problem. See, the God within you and me is a creation of you and me. It's not the real God. It's not the real God. What we do, we create our own gods and place our own gods within us so that that God approves all nonsense. That's our creation. So it approves all our nonsense. And at the same time, if somebody else does something, that's wrong. You got what I'm saying? This is the biggest problem with the Christians. And we say, God is with us. Yes, which God? Which God? You are not God. You created a God and placed within you. 
and that body is always with you. That body is action, everything, all nonsense. Huh? That is the problem. <laughs> That's the issue. So, this is actually something we need to understand. The Jews had a big problem. They created their own gods. Their own god. And what happened? That god was more or less sanctioning everything. But when they, when that god saw another god, he cannot tolerate it. Cannot accept it. So, it is they could not never accept. They could never accept that God wants all to be part of God's plan. They could not accept. That is why, while the rich Jewish tax collector Sakai had the privilege of hosting Jesus in his house, or Joseph of Arimathea, Mark 15, no? or Nicodemus, John 3 1, who were wealthy members of the Jewish community, were friends of Jesus. They were not friends of Jesus. Sakai, Joseph, Nicodemus, Huh? They were all friends of Jesus. Even when they when he died, what happened? Joseph was there to offer a place for his final rest. And see, Nicodemus was there to offer the final rites. They were all friends. Jesus also had rich friends. So that is what he said. Me. Good friends with Mama. <laughs> Come. You know that? Make friends with Mama. Yeah, sometimes this Mama is useful. At times the Mama is useful for you. you know? <laughs> At least, even if you don't use it, when you die, it will be useful. You get the reason for it. And this is a bar. At least the big question will be there. Otherwise, what is wrong? You know, that is what he said. Anyway, so, see, they were all Jewish. New days, rich, but they were friends of Jesus. They were all friends with Jesus, which you know, the Jews, they could not accept it. So, thus, you know, the gospel presents Jesus as one who was totally free from all forms of class, ethnic values or caste or gender by gender values. Rich were there, Jews were there, ladies were there, tax collectors were there, Celts were there. All, all these people were there with Jesus. So they were he was above the caste creed, I mean by the age, right? So so he was actually showing God as a God of everybody. That is it. So that means he was building and supporting an inclusive community. Jesus was building and supporting an inclusive community. An inclusive community? Oh, there is a Inclusive. We will talk about uh, exclusive. Exclusive and inclusive. So exclusive and inclusive will talk later.
this vision for an inclusive community. This vision for an inclusive community. That we see in the micro community. That is the micro community is that you know is disciples. The small group for disciples. In that you have a the picture of everybody. symbolic
Still gas is a number, but it will not be the decision made. You got it? Still gas is a number, but it will not be there the decision made. That means it is socially outcasted. Because of its greediness. Less for money. Everybody came to know about it. Yeah. See, the story he would have had a very happy ending. Is it not? Naman's story would have had a very happy ending. Have very good and bad. But gas is spoiled. True. So what happened? It became a tragedy. Naman's story became a tragedy because of what? Do you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. So you have, you know, I mean, some think of it. But then sometimes you know, the story when one has the group has come inside an outsider. And then an insider, an insider, he went up to the money of the parents. So far, Naman was, Naman was a failure, a heathen, nothing to do with. Now, once he accepted, what happened? The insider is going after the money of the parents. So he is out. That's the story. Did you get what I'm saying? So what we are trying to say is, we say that, see, it just should be as a community of the people of God. And it should be entrusted with the, with carrying out the mission of Jesus. And this is possible only in shared details, create participatory structures, promote a culture of shared responsibility. Shared responsibility. So the church should be in view of a mission of responsibility. In keeping with the mission of Jesus. Christian communities are called to be communities of radical freedom, radical sharing, radical service, and radical equality. See, it is the Christian communities are called to be Jesus' mission. Christian communities are called to be communities of radical freedom, radical sharing, radical service, and radical equality. And these are the things we need to understand. These are the things we need to understand. So, what actually Jesus looked at? He looked at that. So look forward for a, an inclusive community. An inclusive community where all are equally concerned. Jesus understands that an inclusive community, right? So now we talk about the I mean the Samaritan woman.
settlement, settling in life, a peaceful life. Actually, constantly searching for a peace, peaceful life. That is why she was marrying again and again. And finally, it said she ended up in a living together at this point. That's it. See, it is not actually to put down her as a woman, immoral woman. Some of us preachers, you know, try to put down her as a immoral woman. She was not an immoral woman. She had, see, this social custom is there. She was married and then she could not find happiness for there was trouble. So, five times divorce. So, it's not a very big issue. And, uh, and now, finally, you know what happened? Who is staying with her is not husband. That means a living, living together has been in Tamil understanding. Living together. And that's the kind of woman. And now she doesn't want to marry anymore. That is why she is in a living together relationship. To see whether it settles or not. Only if it settles, you will get money. That's understand. So that's the place. You know, the Samaritan woman, that's my point of the Samaritan woman. She is not actually, we should not actually try to put her down. That is what. So, racially, it is said that racially the Samaritans are difficult to identify. You know, in 17 to 721 BC, Asuris, he took Asuris took away the people. Destroyed Samaria. Then, for the sake of deportation of pride, uh, Samaria as a city. And then, Jeremiah 41 5 says, it implied that a remnant of two Israelites remained in Shechem, Shiloh, and Samaria. Yes, century later, you know, it is. There was a remnant. I say about what it says, why it says. The most of the people were taken. They cannot take everybody. They cannot take everybody. Ten tribes were taken. The story is that the kings used to report the whole group, but then they never take the whole group. Always the older people and some people, you know, stayed back. Always they put them back. And some people always hide themselves. They cannot find everybody. So, once this group, really things what they do, when this group go, another group come back, come to this place, deported, and then bring some people. So, what happened? This, there will be one, a hundred, one group of people will be staying together, and these people, the hiding people will come out and they stay together, and it is not a complete restriction, complete deportation. So, there was, there were Israelites. A certain group was there. And that is the time the Assyrians were brought in. A group of Assyrians were brought in. So what happened? The locals were always there to help the Assyrians as well as they could be school. They could be school. So there was a slave. And Samaritan movement is a progeny or Samaritan movement is the descendant of this mixed group. Mixed In Shiloh and Shechem, other two cities, Israelites were there. They were still there. So, Samaritans, you cannot say that they were completely outcast. It was mixed. At the same time, fewer Jews also were there. They continued. And see, maybe this lady, who knows whether she was a pure Jew, a pure Israelite, or a mixed Israelite. Who knows? Oh, yeah. They share almost everything in common. So, this is the story, and only thing, you know, there was no priesthood, there was nobody to take care of religious three, these people, that was. So, the newcomers from the north may be presumed to have intermarried with the Israelite covenant. The newcomers came from outside, you know, they have to keep their generation. So, they must have married. It said that Israelite women were beautiful, and men were also handsome. So, obviously, there could have been intermarriages. That is it. Yeah. So ultimately, population, you know, a major population came to the general name Samaritans. Because they are Samaria, Samaritan. So, see, Mbiwalas, what are they called Mbiwalas? You know, Chattisburis, Deliwala, Mumbai Kar. <laughs> Just like that. Samaritans is actually a geographical name. It's simply a geographical name. So, what happened? This geographical name and the people of that geog uh, geographical location, they also wanted 
to have a religion, therefore, and that religion they wanted, Jewish religion. That means their religious religion. That itself shows that the Samaritans, the dominating people were the Israelites. Hmm. What is it? The dominant group was who? Israelites. Israelites were the dominant group. That is why this Jewish, I mean, Israelite temple, the model of Israelite temple is coming up. That's the reason. Otherwise, see, if the dominating group is outside, that's what will happen. Outside the temple. Is it not? Huh? So that shows that the domination was Israelite. Israelite domination. And the Israelite people were more number or more dominated. So it is actually these were also the worshippers of Yah. They were the worshippers of Yah. After return from captivity, enmity became inverted in better ways between Samaritans and the Jews, remnant of Israel and Armenia. See, till there was there were enemies, um, in a sense there were these two groups, you know, uh, the division you have to see, the Solomon's time, after Solomon, Rehoboam. Rehoboam's time, you know what happened? See, the people, the division took place. When the division took place, the Israelites said, we have nothing to do with just say, and his son. So David and his group. So they went. But you need to understand they never fought each other. Ten tribes and two tribes, they didn't fight each other. They sub simultaneously, in parallel, these two kingdoms were going on. They were not fighting each other. They never killed, I mean, they are uh, kings each other. Kings, Book of Kings or Chronicles, you read, they didn't fight each other. Is it not? The story did not want, you know, they were not fighting each other. They were fighting against other countries, Assyrians or uh, Babylonians, but they did not fight each other. That means they were not enemies. They were not enemies, but they were friends, but from the same, I mean, root. That is why, you know, in Samaria, Jeroboam, Jeroboam introduced a worship, and but that worship was worship of God. And here, the worship of Jehovah. So in the beginning, Jeroboam introduced this worship, but the people, the Israelites, and they wanted to come back to Jewish worship. That is why, see, the Jeroboam temple plus Jewish worship, these two were mixed up in the Samaritan temple. So the Samaritan worship was a mix up of the Jewish worship and the idol worship. Did you get what I am saying? So after the deportation or exiles retired, you will see this interesting thing. Very interesting, very nice to understand. But you know, the enemy, they became enemies when? By the coming of Islam. What did Islam know? Islam checked out all mixed up people. Sun brothers, son in law. His name was Shechem, you know, Shemaya, Shemaya, Shemaya was Shechem. And while he went, he went out, he took a copy of Torah with him. Law which was kept in the temple, he took it with him and put that Torah in the temple, in the Samaritan temple and he introduced the worship of Yahweh in Samaria. And he asked, a matter of fact, he claimed, Samaritans asked, the children of Abraham. We are also children of Abraham, he said. So that is the place, the Samaritan children of Abraham understanding, and because they were originally the ten tribes. So that originally they started claiming. But the Jews did not claim, they did not accept it. Jews always kept them outside. Did you get the story? Yes. A complete picture. Yeah. That is it. People read so many things, but it's not like that, okay? <laughs> Many of these things are different. Now, this lady is a, an Israelite. Samaritan, but Israelite. May not be a Jew, but Israelite. One of those ten tribes, members of the ten tribes. Right? Yeah, so we can a Jew? Huh? Can a Jew? Jew is Judah, tribe of Judah. Well, 
several hundreds of years of elevation. Hundreds of years of elevation. That is, once they were thrown out of Jerusalem, they became enemies, and several hundreds of years of enmity, it broke down. We just went to a Jewish rabbi coming to Samaria. It was very difficult to understand what something is. They would understand in two ways. That means they had to capture some of this. Jerusalem, 
the beginning of the mission itself we came to Samaria to make them know that even Samaritans are also, that means my neighbors are also in the plan. They are also part of the plan. Did you get that? Yeah. So this is actually the inclusive community. Jesus was aiming at an inclusive community. Where Samaritans also are part of it. Samaritans also are part of the kingdom. That means the kingdom of God is an is a philosophy for everybody, it's an inclusive philosophy. The kingdom of God is for all. He says very clearly, it's for all. It's inclusive. It's not exclusive for one group, but it's for all. It includes everybody. That is what it says. This is the city of the soil. Why do you keep this one? So then you have to keep that clock working, you know. There's a clock working on the power. That's not working on the electricity, is it not? Which one? Yeah, that's that's no, working, isn't it? No, it's working through the power, electricity. Electricity. So the power goes also... on. It has internal battery. Yeah? It has internal battery. It gets uh, again from the correct time. You don't have to reset again. Internal battery automatically. Yeah. Oh. Just like our mobile watch. Oh. <laughs> See, it's very cold. I know you should usually walk around, walk around the whole class. Mm -hmm. But when it's cold, then you have not feel like walking very much. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you know, we walk around. So much I walk. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, it's, it's cold and it doesn't work. Summer means mm -hmm. summer means I work is walk around. Yeah. All this is the way to walk. Yeah. Okay. What's the date today? 26. Tuesday. 26. Yeah. So, one second. There was two missed calls. This asked Same problem. The same problem. No company, same no worry.
is a living. God has never left his people without witness. So this Moses are there. One Moses is going, sir. But Moses is escaping. Not One Moses, Moses is running. Escaping. He will say, I am also Moses. He, he, he just, <laughs> just, I mean, got a glimpse of his. He's escaping. Family. <laughs> should not say anything when he is not there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it is to say that um, uh, see the universal understanding. Everybody, oh, oh somebody else. Come. The whole town, she called all the towns, the whole town. Come and see this <coughs> the woman who said everything about that. <coughs> no. Come and see. That is it. So the woman actually brings out everybody. Yeah. Come and see an expression used earlier by Jesus himself when the two disciples who follow him ask him where he lives. In John chapter 1, 39, two disciples saw him, and who are those two disciples? Daniel and Andrews. Where are you still? And he said, Come and see. Come and see. The same thing she says to the people, Come and see a man. Who said everything about me? It is all always expression. You know, they said the same thing, and they said the same thing. You know? <laughs> it's the like to say, like this expression. And the head may be different, but the expression and the meaning may be this. But, but anyway, see, there is a place for submission. That's our point. Mm. There's a place for all submissions. See, the whether they were Samaritans, original Samaritans, or Mixed Samaritans, or Israelites, or Mixed Israelites, there's no question. The people, they have a place. That is it. They have a place. Yeah. The next city, right? The gang. The red city, right? The gang. Amara Moses Red Sea divide karke aage hai sir. Yes sir.
certificate anyway because on the day of graduation they will not get the certificate it will be sent after three months so if they take the laptop that is certificate <laughs> there will not be <laughs> 
I didn't know that that was the likeness and image of God, but you did not know that you were the likeness and image of God. That is actually the problem. Did you get what I am saying? Yeah. Is it? So, this is what Jesus once told the woman that you are the likeness of God and you are entitled for the what of life. See, a big barrier is gone. She invites all the people. See, come, there is a prophet. He is able to tell many things. And he is able to give you a part of life to the They are going for lunch. So fast. Why? Right? It's 12, a quarter to one. One o'clock they do. And that is a lesson. No, no, that is when college is on. When there is no college, like a Saturday and Sunday, it's quite early. Today they get early lesson. Yeah. So they are happy. <laughs> but we would go one third. Huh? Lunch will be gone. What about you? You will get the lunch today, or is it not? Yeah. I think now it is. Okay. Yeah, we can take now. Uh, we can resume by 1.30 if yeah, you say. Yeah, sorry, uh, two, let's, see, two. let's see what uh, he says. What number will you do? Yeah. Yeah. Let me ask. Yeah. Let's Fully intoxicated. Yeah. All the souls. You know. All the souls will sleep. Any problem they will sleep, but Amma, Amma, no one will talk about it. And morning, they will sleep up to 10 o'clock. And 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock, they will come to the show. All these souls are able to see these souls. Some will come. But they will come again. And they will come again. And they will come again. And those souls are bad. So sleepy. He is not your Nepali. Dorji actually, that's our way of Dorji. 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 Dorji is, when we say Dorji, it is actually from Menemar. Dorji is Muda. So, that's the way. And they are much better than the original Bengalis. Original Bengalis will start eating. If they get up 6 o'clock, they will brush their teeth and eat the Sukhra. That is why. That's all I go in there in the mouth. That is why the pronunciation is more common. Are you hearing that? There is no half. There is no half. When you say A-N-I-S-H, all over the world we call it Anish. Onish. Onish. Manish, when it's called Pramana, it's Monish. Monish. Sir, what do you have to say? Poro. They also do O oh, sir everything. Oh. It is very interesting. Monish. Who is supposed to say Monish? There is a simple O is here. That is why it comes Monish. But Odisha, what is rice is there? No, no, no. It is Bangladesh and Odisha at the same time. First Bangladesh and Odisha. Odisha is actually Indian plus the Arabian culture. Mixed up. They are, they are 
Allah <laughs>
Yeah, you will see the language of Ghana. See that it is Phoenician language, Syro Phoenician language. Yeah, and all these are mobile dialects. Kidomite. Or several, around seven groups with their own dialects. Hittites, Jebusites, Kidomites, Mobites. Canaanites, it's all Canaanites. They are all Philistines. And what is the Philistine mean? Palestinian. Mm. All these, most, I uh, mean, at least seven groups with different dialects. And this woman, this Canaanite woman, was one of the original Canaanite, maybe one of the original children of the child of soil, daughter of the soil, from the Semitic stock only, could be from the Semitic stock. And were uh, part of the large migration of Semitic, the Semitic Phoenicians, Amorites, and all this. Maybe even from the Northeast. They came under Egyptian control in 1500 BC. Yeah. See, the Israelites were never able to completely eliminate the Canaanites. Never able to. Hmm. They wanted to finish the Canaanites. Never able to. Never able to finish the Canaanites. They were always there. To and it is said in the Old Testament, you know, Joshua, Book of Joshua, they killed many, but the remaining people became the slaves. Slaves are slaves for that some time after that they become masters. Mm. That's a story. Every history. That is. Mm. Slaves becomes the masters after a period of time. Because they come in life. Yeah. See, their continued presence with their own practices created serious religious problems in Israel. They were continually staying there with their own religious practices. They were not practicing. They are their own God. A kind of animistic worship. It was a spiritual and spiritual and spiritual Samana University. Yeah. See, therefore, you know, for a Jew, Jerusalem was actually the official seat of religion. And religious affairs. And then you know, Jerusalem belongs to the Jews. Therefore, they are privileged to. It's against the Bible of that Jesus starts to the boundaries of this Jerusalem. And then, you know what happened? Seeing the deep faith in Rome, an officer of Papa May, who went to Jesus with a request to cure his servant, Jesus says, I haven't seen That's this kind of faith even in Israel. Only, I say to you, not even in Israel have I found this faith, or such faith. I tell you, when you will come from the East and West, I sit at the table of Abraham. You see that? This is actually Jesus told about the Many will come from East and West and sit at the table of So that means you know, transcending the boundaries commanded by the Jews in the sense. The Jews created a boundary and Jesus went ahead and I mean uh, transcended his boundaries. That is it. So Isaac and Jacob with the I mean in the kingdom of heaven, Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. And that is the that's actually a really story. There will be people from East and West, from other places. Abraham and his descendants, not only really Israel, but others also will be there. That, is, that means only, not only Semitics, others also will come. That is, that is. So, the kind of woman who showed her unfailing faith and trust in the saving power, saving power of Jesus. See, Jesus says, O oh, woman, great is your faith. That is, we did that for you as you desire. That is, you know, it is very interesting. You need to understand. She says, ask for help. Then Jesus says, see, the bread is given. But the bread is only for the children. Uh, the bread, children. And then you know, it is not for me. And this dogs actually, when you eat the dogs, it is not to say that dogs are outside. It is the pet dogs. <coughs> The little bed dogs. And they always, you know, they are always at the table. Huh? And they always come around at the table. And our dogs are more today than they are doing it, you know. <laughs> so, they are In today's in context, the people would not question. No. If <laughs> we got the way dogs are treated. That is why it is not questioned. <laughs> yeah. That is why it is not questioned, you know. Mm. It is stray, not stray dogs, not dogs outside of the state, mm. but children. But no. 
they leave the children only. That is what the box they understood. That is why they said, see, the Jews usually do not uh, have the dogs at the top. Like Muslims. Muslims, they don't have dogs at all, you know that? Hmm. Yeah, Muslims, they don't keep dogs at all. And Jews also, usually, but now the culture is different. Keep the dogs, but otherwise, dogs are not dogs. So, they don't like dogs. So, what, why it is coming to this, you know? See, now, Jesus said, it's not for dogs, but she said, dogs also leave the bee from so the bees is falling from the table. So that is actually something, you know, it is the faith, the demonstration of faith. That is, she understood what Jesus said. And she recognized Jesus. 
is there somebody who chases away the people? Is it not? So, the dog story again is a confused story. Whether it is the construction, whether it is something they have put, uh, Marty himself put on, that we have to understand. We have to think about it. Well, Jesus can reject him. And sir, another question, while Jesus was doing all these things, disciples were with him, were they writing everything word by word that what Jesus is saying to everyone and where he is going, whom he is meeting, did they write everything word by word? That's a big question. If that was not done, then the storytelling will always have some sort of interpolation, some sort of Because even after writing, we do a lot of mistakes when we tell. Yeah. No, 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 you, you just think, na. you are just with Dr. Matthew Thomas for last five years. And if I happen to tell you, just write one year history about him. Question. Inspiration is not questioning yeah. that point. No, no, no. How inspiration question? Is it Quran or what? Huh? Is it Quran? Word by word by Allah? No, 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 it's not, um, huh. not it is not Quranic it inspiration. Is not Biblical yes. inspiration is different than the Quranic inspiration. They just can't ask something there. They are by their own. We had the same talk with Dr. Belsi also. Why they had biblical, biblical criticism? Yeah. Verbal yeah. The verbal plenary expression is different than the Quranic inspiration. Yeah. And the design See, we sometimes think like somebody started the recorder and then everything is recorded there and after Matthew sat and wrote down everything. Yeah. So Impossible. Vulbal plenary. See, then we are no different than the Quranic understanding of the inspiration. If that one I happen to believe. They don't even allow the translation to be justified in any sense because they believe the word by word. But we believe verbal plenary inspiration. How was Penta to written? See now.
she wants to get back her daughter's dignity and now she is a mother as a mother she is ready to come and touch the feet of anybody even the enemies and she is standing for the dignity of her daughter in that case you know this is a cross he says not help me she says not help me and then if there are is on and i feel that these words are not is but it's like the tensions of jews may show this and mm. genuinely you know a woman it is not right to take the children's bread it is not his own i don't think it is jesus own and no see the divinity of greek now you know it is kind of new it suggests that the reference is to the little dogs that they are kept as a aspects and not the dogs of the courtyard still she is not really new yes or but even the dogs come you know in that case the story presented as a dialogue between Jews and Jesus and the woman yeah the woman here is presented as a social critic she is a social critic and a traditional critic of a traditional norms and now see Jesus comes to the help the true way that the brothers from the text is that of bold and courageous Canaanite woman breaking the barriers of the Jesus and because this woman has to come to Jesus the writer does not know about it without a pause that is why the writer pauses for a while so it is said that we don't believe that Jesus himself said that it is not for bread is there for children I mean not for the dogs we don't understand we don't take it as but we believe in yeah, this thing I want thing. to justify myself yeah no no I'm not bothered about that if we believe that it is the handbook of the writing of the of the that is what we believe so we will be put by him that is what yeah so that is actually the story now it is one ten I think so we can probably go you see a little bit of this also is there or not so we can go eat and come back you know yes yeah. sir so, go and keep it yes sir what time will resume sir three three okay you see when the rest is on there yeah afternoon we usually go there but then we can find out if you want to have here we will tell them <laughs> afternoon usually we uh, go and if you want them they will bring they will no, bring no 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 you don't want to i don't want anybody to bring anything for me so little bit walk will also be yeah i'll call him लेकिन आप पहले से इधर बैठी बदमाशी करते तुम लोग क्या सर क्या बदमाशी सर सर So he came back to Jesus, say that see, I give, I give a message for Jesus. Again, there is no problem. Priest in Jerusalem, I will preach in Samaria. Say, you go back to the priest and show him this. And he did not say which priest you should go. What the priest has said, you have to go and get the certificate from some written priest, your priest, and then. But the problem for this fellow, Samaria, 
they do may not be having the tradition of showing the priest mm. number one number two is far away so he found himself he when he came back to his simple mm. life this again i like i like this story so when the saint showing the universities any priest and the spirit to priest as well as the priest priest to the spirit of jesus for us both are religious leaders both are only there for giving a certificate of thing is more than that both are existing to give a certificate and nothing more than that did you get what i yes that is actually the story that is actually the story so some see this jesus you know first thing he went to traveling to region of samaria much against the jewish understanding jewish prisoners correct yeah or oh, his own religion he went against Uh, then who is my neighbor? He again, there's a parable. Who is my neighbor? Again, what he did? He yes, put for the Samaritan. Samaritan has a name, not the priest or the priest. Samaritan has a name. See, then you know coming down, the same truth is affirmed in the story of the ten lepers. Samaritan is again a the outcast are again a the ten story. I mean in the story of the lepers. While Jesus traveled along the border between Samaria and Galilee, ten men with the leprosy came. Yeah, and it is the identity of these ten men. No, we don't know. And it is said that by the end of the narration, it is very clear that they belong to different race and tradition because Jesus. We were not all ten friends. Where are the other nine? Was no one found? To return and give praise to God, except this foreigner. That's it. Only this foreigner was. So, verse uh, chapter seventeen, I uh, mean verse seventeen, eighteen, eighteen. There is all possibility that these ten men came to Jesus together, and if so, that means that they were also living together. The marginality of these individuals allowed them to break the religious, ethnic. This is the outcast. They were living together. And then I said, "As is that, this is not directly majority group to go to Jerusalem and the minority to Samaria. No, he said, directs all of them to follow the law of purification. That is Jewish law of purification. That's what I said. Yeah. So then what is happening? Probably on the way, all got healing, and the Samaritan restored and healed. Thought of coming and reporting to Jesus, but others moved ahead for purification rites." Because Samaritan does not have a purification rite, so he came back to Jesus. And he cannot go to the Jewish temple and get the purification rite there. Okay, he found Jesus again now. Not a big issue because he is healed and he can approach Jesus directly. And he threw himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him. And by doing so, he worshipped Jesus and recognized him as savior. Jesus told him, "Rise and go. Your faith has made you well." This is a recognized faith of Samaritan, and I find that it is a faith that he will be the faith of Samaritan. That is a faith. This is a very faith of Samaritan. So, what is the universality? What is that particularity? There is no particularity as such. Nothing. There is nothing. It is a faith. Your faith is a faith. Whether Samaritan or not, your faith is a faith. By worshiping Jesus, following in His feet, it is a fair. It is what? It is a fair. That is it. That is so. Right? Yeah. Yeah. See, there is His appreciation of faith. You know, found in Jewish, not Jewish tradition. That is very important to understand. Jesus appreciated. This Samaritan was appreciated. And now again. Okay, Specific message about God and humanity you will see in the Jesus of Nazareth. The most significant aspect of his person and preaching is that he is not the founder of a new religion. He is not the founder of a new religion. But I am appreciating the faith of the people in God. Appreciating the faith of the people in God, but never intended to start a new religion. Never wanted. My kingdom is not this worldly. So. I, he didn't want to start a new kingdom. No empire did he. No empire. He never 
इंजीनियर की स्टार्ट है इंजीनियर के बिल्ड एंड बैलेंस तो नो इट इज रिलीज स्टार्ट एंड रिलीज द सेंट्रल बैलेंस मैसेज यू नो जीसस वाज अबाउट दी यूनिवर्सल फेयर टू लव गॉड इट वाज अबाउट द यूनिवर्सल फेयर टू लव गॉड थ्रू व्हिच ऑल ह्यूमन बीइंग्स आर टू बी कंसीडर्ड that 
revelations were there in other religious source another community source is not the possession or is not the exclusive i mean uh, possession of the jews others also had the right to have revelations otherwise how did the magi know that jesus was born and the east they looked at the star they looked at the star and they came to know that jesus was born is it not yeah. but magi You see that, see, Samaritan woman, see, he provided new identity to Samaritans by claiming them that they are example to be followed in the parable of the Samaritan by Samuel Samaritan. You see that, a kind of identity is providing by saying that Samaritans are an example to be followed by. <laughs> see, that is it. No Jew will like it. He says, Samaritans are to be followed. Samaritans are to be followed. That's what it says. Yeah. Searching for this one and the money is coming. You know? <laughs> <laughs> All of us are going to No standard. And then the money is coming in. So money is everywhere. Yeah. When you need it, it won't be there. <laughs> Money, then paper will come. <laughs> 